What's up guys, it's Postkin Boy here, and this is going to be the episode 2 of the series Tips and Tricks for PUBG. Today we're going over Miramar. Uh, this map is very different from Aaron Hill and the other two maps, which we'll go over soon. Um, I'm still looking into all the footage that got corrupted, so uh, hopefully those videos will come soon once I'm done traveling. But as of right now, let's get into it. Now, this map is a whole different ball game from Aaron Hill. In Aaron Hill, you have three things to your advantage and disadvantage. You have the abundance of structures that provide cover and vantage points. You have the forested areas, which provide, you know, cover uh, and decent grass, which hides enemies until they're like right up close to you. And you have the wide open ocean that you can exploit until the end game, if the zone is right. In Miramar, however, the map is going to be a lot more open. Uh, structures are nowhere near as abundant. It's a lot more hills, uh, plant life is next to nothing. There's a couple of bushes, but besides that, you're not gonna get a lot of cover. So you're gonna need to apply very different strategies here. Now here at the beginning of the game, I like to head to Graveyard uh, for the following reasons. There always tends to be decent enough loot. You have the large tower that's shielded from all sides so you can snipe and avoid being sniped. Hence, you get the upper ground in positioning. And it's an easy position to hold down and minimize risk when going for drops or summoning your own drop. As I mentioned before, the environment drastically differs from air angle, so the strategies you can employ in terms of weapons also must change. To cope with the wide open areas, holdout zones, and um, vantage points, you need a sniper. Even quasi-assault rifles aren't going to do you much good here. You need a proper semi-auto or bolt-action rifle here. Uh, you need something that'll pack a punch at far ranges. More often than not, you'll find guys shooting you from further away than up close. Really quick, I want to show an example of why you should really avoid 45 ACP. There's a guy that charges me with a vector, which is a terrible gun in this game. Um, he's up close with an SMG, I have a bolt action rifle, and I still manage to put the fucker down, simply because his bullets are like pellets, and that thing carries next to nothing and takes too long to reload. So just another example of a gun where 45 ACP really holds it down. I'd also like to mention, I originally wasn't going to, I was going to save it for another video, so I figure... I figure I might as well do it here. Uh, avoid using shotguns, mostly because uh, there's a delay in the time before you fire them, which, uh, you know, in a game where every second counts is really not something you want, and they're really not worth giving up one of your precious two primary slots. That being said, if you can find the sawed-off double barrel shotgun, that would be the only one I'd say would be worth it, and I'd say use that mostly in... Um, you know, squad matches or two-player duo modes here, so you can just use it to quickly uh, put a guy down if he's close by you after you've shot him with your primary. But yeah, don't give up those primary slots. In terms of what else you should carry with you um, along with your sniper, uh, let's get right into that. I'd very much recommend that you grab a SCAR or a M762 or one of those assault rifles that work at closer ranges but can also double at long range. Not very well because you know the SCAR and the M762 both while deadly at close range tend to lack when you start trying to put uh, higher scopes on them. Still though, since this map emphasizes longer range, it's best that even your short range weapons have competent long range capabilities. In this map, in terms of travel, uh, you can see my partner here is heading towards one of the drops. It's best to use a vehicle, since walking across one of these large ranges will most likely end up with you getting sniped. At the same time, it was uh, very risky of my partner here to go for the drop because, as you'll see, I'll show an example later, the drop is more often than not just going to be a death trap, more so here than on air angle. So make sure to be careful, use those vehicles when you're traveling long distances, and if anything, just use the drops as bait and kill anyone that goes for them. Because ultimately, that's what the boxes are really good for. Taking advantage of your opponent's greed and hitting them, well in this case, sniping them, when they're out in the open the majority of the time, because the box rarely hides somewhere that's advantageous for a few players. We got lucky this match, but most of the time it's going to be a detriment to anyone that goes for it. With that in mind, let me just remind you guys the importance of 
Well, it's important in pretty much every map, but more so here, the importance of positioning yourself. In a map where everyone is trying to snipe you, in a map where boxes might be falling in the open or by structures, it's important to get yourself in a good spot where in most cases, you'll have the power over your opponent. As much as I wish you had a car all the time on this map, there will come times when you need to run across open desert. Don't panic. What you need to do, unlike at Angel, in Miramar, you should crouch down. Stick close to sand dunes that block off certain vantage points from structures and mountains that your enemies could be using to snipe you. And never rush, don't let the zone pressure you because that more often than not will lead you right into an ambush and get you killed. So move slow, stay low, and try to use the sand dunes, the rocks, the trees to cover yourself as much as possible. In short, take what you can get when you're moving across these wide open spaces. If there's one sort of structure that you should be looking out for in Myanmar among the small clusters of homes or buildings, it's these kind of houses that I'm heading to right now with the stairs that lead up there and then the two rooms on top. It's very hard for someone to get into. It's a great uh, holdout point and the windows give you perfect views uh, for sniping and you can always just crouch down to get into cover. I just want to use that guy's technique as just another tip. When you're approaching boxes or you're running somewhere where you're expecting to get sniped, be obnoxious, jump around, use those smoke bombs. Again, it didn't help this guy too much, but it made it that much harder for me to just put him down. So, movement is life. Moving on to the end game now, this isn't going to be like Aaron Gull where it's either you're sniping a guy or you're shooting a guy hiding in the grass next to you. The grass here isn't gonna hide you all that much. You're using those sand dunes again to cover yourself from as many positions as possible. And you're using your sniper, checking out bushes, checking out um, hilltops, structures, all the places where people are gonna hide. It's not gonna be like you're just gonna find out, oh, the guy was next to me the whole time, no. They are far away, and just like you, they're looking through a scope to find you. So have that sniper, stay low, and try to minimize your movement. As a final little tidbit, I got two things. First off, when you have a structure like Graveyard or those houses we were talking about, don't be over-reliant. There's always going to be a counter to it. Hence comes my second piece of advice. Stock up on grenades. If you could just pack on grenades, you can either push people out of that position or you can take them down. Ultimately though, if someone has a better gun than you, for example, in this case we were lucky enough to have saws and you're at the top of those stairs, it's not gonna go that well. So always ensure not to become too reliant on a single strategy. All right, this video turned out to be a little shorter than expected, so I'm just gonna include a uh, AWM montage since I was lucky enough to get the weapon and just show off some of the kills I got with it.